Ask a little witch. Okay, apologies for the late running of this month's mid-month horoscope for September 2016. Before we get into it, these are generalised horoscopes, and just because there are a lot of you watching these things, um, it's not always possible that each and every single month, the mid-month, they're going to relate to you 100%. Although I do my best to word it in a way that's going to help everybody. Um, of that collective sign, be that um, your sun sign, rising sign or moon sign, I invite you to watch all three of those. You'll just get a better grasp as to what's going to be taking place um, throughout the month and then for this particular reading will be the last few weeks. Um, but watch both, you know, the monthly one as in conjunction with this one. It will just give you a bigger, better, broader perspective. And as always, please do let me know how these play out for you. Um, all information on how you can contact me if you would like a personal reading are all down in the info box. Mercury's still retrograde, I'm still crazy. Um, so yeah, let, let's just jump Gemini, into it. suns, moons and rising signs. Okay, I've gone a bit dizzy. Um, so what they showed me was um, the letter R and then rubbing. And it was almost like there were these waves and you had to keep on like going. Um, now obviously water is emotion and it's kind of like you are directing yourself through this emotional kind of break or whatever's going to be taking place. Now immediately um, what I feel the urge to say um, is that, I don't know, I feel like something unexpected or something's going to happen out of the blue when you're going from A to B, journeying, going somewhere. Um, something will take place that's going to take you by surprise and I feel like it's something that you've wanted for a really long time you know whether it is an opportunity someone popping up out of nowhere um, whatever it may be for you it's something that you have wanted but it's also going to present you with this kind of indecisiveness this kind of well yeah I did say that I wanted that but do I actually want it and it's almost like you have this choice or this opportunity and you're really unsure as to whether to take it or not or whether to pretend that you don't see what you're seeing and just to carry on going you know um but something very significant is going to take place journeying wherever it is that you're going somewhere i'm not saying everyone's going to get in a boat and start rowing everywhere but it's just symbolic you know of kind of like the emotional the emotional pull Another thing that I did see as well, it's almost like there were these two magnets and for a long period of time it's almost like something had um, restricted them and it's like those restrictions are being like, I don't know, shot down and the magnets are coming back together um, in some way. So I don't know whether this is to do with like an old, an old wound, I can't even speak honestly. Um, an old wound I don't know whether this is kind of like that last hurdle that last leg of the race you know you're almost there the end is in sight and then boom something happens and you're like huh like you know now I've got to deal with this um it's kind of like that sort of vibe um but you've accomplished a lot and you've overcome so many things and um this is just one more thing so don't resist it kind of go with the flow of things i also feel like maybe work is even bogging you down a bit you know whether it is that you're kind of uncertain or unclear as to where that's leading for you where is it going is it bringing you joy is it investing in you are you giving more of yourself than is necessary are you seeing something from the right perspective there's opportunities here for sure like there is an opportunity but work could be kind of causing a bit of a barrier in terms of where it is that you need to get to. Now, 100%, something very, I know I say this quite a lot, but we are in a time where there's a lot of weird stuff about to happen and has happened. Um, but it almost feels like, okay, so Mercury is still retrograde up until like, what, like the 22nd or something? It's gonna be in shadow until October, beginning week or so. So just choose your words wisely. Don't jump the gun. Don't make any harsh, fast decisions, not advised at all. This is an opportunity for you to get a better grasp on things, a better opportunity for you to weigh out the pros and the cons, an opportunity for you to kind of look at what it is that 
fulfills you what it is that makes you happy what it is that brings you joy as opposed to all of the ne unnecessary shit you know that causes you stress anxiety pain concern all of those things just devalue you all of those things just kind of take away your power and you have to kind of I feel like you're starting to take that back for yourself but I also feel like you're being presented with something that maybe makes you feel scared or uncertain and it could have that past link with it you know we have just gone through a lunar eclipse in Pisces it's a mutable sign like Gemini um so it is going to affect you in a bit of a in a bit of a way and you know and your planet's retrograde and we've got a lot of retrograde action going on here but I feel like something fated is taking place so whatever takes you by surprise whatever takes place don't resist it embrace it ask yourself what can i learn from this what is this trying to teach me what like question things you're good at that so do that you know question everything i do feel like there is something that is going to eat at you though it's almost like you're starting to as you do <laughs> you're a gemini i've got loads of gemini in my chart so um you overthink things okay you are going to kind of analyze it analyze it a bit more reflect back to the past replay out the same situations re-listen to those old conversations that you had with this person or whatever this situation is coming about there is a link in regards to a fated connection a past connection whether it is someone new or someone old there is a sense of familiarity between you and again honestly I mean there's just this sense of spiritual connection spiritual intervention taking place for you guys this month and I do feel like there is an opportunity for you to again change direction an opportunity where you are at a pivotal point pivotal I can't even say the word point in your life that's going to transition and change the next kind of chapter of your life you know it's almost like this is that big moment that's going to kind of you can look back and go you know what that's when it all changed that's when I went down this path instead of that path and blah 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 I do feel like there's lots for you to learn I do feel like there is something you know information knowledge something is going to trigger you in a way that's going to give you better clarity for sure um so yeah this is what i get for you guys hopefully you can relate to it please do let me know how it plays out for you in the comments below um and i'll see you for october's unless obviously you book a personal reading with me in which case i will speak to you very soon so thank you so much bye